it's Lauren with Let Me Organize It, and I wanted to show you some other paperwork that I process. So I was called for jury duty, and um, unfortunately it's at a time when I can't really make it due to some client bookings and some travel plans. Um, although I do think it's important to serve your community and to act on the jury, which I did when I lived in New York City. Uh, so I did do a, a postponement for about six months, um, but I was able to open that letter, uh, read the information, find out on the back where I can go online and do that uh, postponement, and it's all set. So now what I'm gonna do is put this information in my uh, to scan so that I have all the information ready and I probably will go ahead and bookmark the website that has my juror identification and add that as a login to my 1Password so that I can access it later. Um, then I also um, I made some online clothing orders so I'll probably go ahead and scan those receipts. If I feel like I don't need them and I'm not going to return them I might just shred them because I have emails that show that I made those orders. Um, I got an appraisal recently of some jewelry and so I definitely want to scan that so that's going in the to scan folder and I invested in a new shredder so um, I had a smaller shredder and it just was not doing so well towards the end of things so I got a much bigger shredder and it came with all of this documentation you know here's the information on the quality guarantee here's thank you do you have questions and concerns Here's how you put it together, although I'm not really sure who needs that because it was pretty easy to snap together. Um, and then this is the information on the manual. Now, manuals. I get this question a lot. Do I keep them? I did. I don't have them anymore. Uh, what I do, and it is a little time consuming, but I just go online and either you can bookmark the website that has this item you can pin it to a Pinterest board. I do on my Pinterest account have manuals and assembly instructions either that I've pinned from the internet or that I've scanned and uploaded as pins. Furthermore, I have a folder on my computer that's for manuals and assembly instructions that I've personally scanned using my scanner or taken pictures of. So that's one way not to have these manuals. It's so rare that you're gonna need them um, and most of these things nowadays are online so take advantage of that. Okay, so similarly, I got a Dyson because oftentimes I am helping clients clean out their houses. And so I wanted to have something that I could easily transport and wouldn't be too heavy. So of course I've got this assembly instructions and you know, remember how to clean it. That's kind of important, so I'll probably scan that and add that to my calendar. Yes, that's what an organizer does. And then I've got this other manual, and I'm gonna look for this online because this is gonna be very awkward as an accordion long file to scan. Um, same thing with this. Here's the uh, manual and assembly instructions and the warranty. So I will likely just find that online and go ahead and recycle the rest of this. And then finally, um, my uh, insurance for my business. Uh, or let me organize it. I have to review this new policy that came out, see what's different, and then I have to pay that premium so that I'm all set up for the next year. So this is some other paperwork that I had on my desk that I needed to process. So as you see, a bunch of stuff went into scan, um, some stuff went into do, like my insurance, um, and other stuff's gonna go right into the recycling bin. So that's how I process some of my paperwork. If you have any questions, Specifically, please don't hesitate to comment below or contact me via Let Me Organize It. And hopefully this helps you in your process of what kind of papers to keep and how to process them. Until next time.